Yo, hey, what's going on everybody? Alex with you here again. Thanks for dropping by for yet another chess related video. Uh, for any newcomers, welcome. Welcome to my channel. For any people that have been following my videos for a while, you probably know that I give a tremendous amount of preference to playing on a physical chess board when it comes to playing chess, such as the chess up board that you see here. Whether it's a wooden chess board, roll up, uh, whether it's an electronic chess board, or really anything that would take your eyes off of some kind of a screen or a monitor and have you stare at a real chess board is always better for the eyes, especially if you're training and trying to get better at chess and you're spending a lot of hours. All those hours do accumulate and sometimes staring at a computer screen for a long period of time can really cause some some eye strain, eye fatigue. I've covered a bunch of different boards from the chestnut, chess up, square off, all of them provide all those different things for anybody that's looking to up their game. But in this video, we're gonna be kind of doing things a little bit differently today because from time to time, I still find myself playing chess on my computer or on my phone. And the reason why I decided to make this video in particular is because I've recently upgraded to the Samsung Z Fold 5 that you see right over here. It is a folding phone. It is the fifth edition. I will be showing this a little bit more closely, but one of the things that I wanted to point out is besides the fact that my brother-in-law recently upgraded to this phone, which prompted me to think, well, this might be, the overall square shape of this phone is um, kind of square enough to the same way that a chessboard is square. So when I saw this at the store, I figured, hey, this may possibly be a really good upgrade if for those people that you know that might be still playing some chess games on their phone. Because let's face it, there are times that you might be waiting for something. You might be waiting for work to start. You might be waiting on your break at work. You might be waiting for your food to arrive or whatever have you. There's so many. You might be on the metro. You might be in the taxi. You might you might just be waiting. And instead of scrolling through Facebook, Twitter, or uh, whatever other social media platform you know you have a tendency to scroll through, why not you know fit in a couple of chess games in there? And my first, well, not my first phone, but one of the phones that I used to play chess on a lot was this iPhone 6s that I inherited from my wife when she upgraded to the iPhone XS, I think. Um, and it was a great phone, uh, though, although the screen is a little bit small, as you guys can see right over here. At some point we went to a theme park and I dropped this phone in the water and then it wasn't it wasn't um, it wasn't water resistant so it kind of died on me and although the phone inside turns on the screen's completely black and um, that was the time that I decided it was time for me to upgrade to a newer phone and I did at the time I upgraded to the phone that you guys have seen me actually use a lot is this Samsung Galaxy S10. Um, which I did find quite a to be quite a nice phone. The screen is going to be a little bit bigger, uh, as you guys can see over here, both width-wise and length-wise. Um, and I I did find this phone to be really quite nice for playing chess. The only part that I didn't, didn't really like, and I'm going to show you guys here up close. Okay. In fact, I think you guys are probably kind of tired of of watching my face, so I'm just going to go ahead and flip the camera on to the table because I got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. So I would say if you're looking for an online capable physical chessboard, something like this or a little bit smaller like the chestnut would probably be the limit of how small I would want my physical chessboard to be. Um, so we're going to go ahead and put this out of the way and I'm going to show you some of the other ways that I play chess as far as digitally. My MacBook Pro 15 inch um, that I've had since 2015, I believe. It does have a screen that's reasonably large to play your games. It's not terribly large, but it is large enough for me to play comfortably. That is one of the ways that I used to play a lot of my games because because screen size does really matter when it comes to playing chess. Some people might not agree with me, but if you're gonna be playing chess on a smaller screen, for example, this is the iPhone XS that my wife used to have. It's, it is, it's still reasonable and you can still play your chess games, but it, it does get a little bit smaller. And for some reason, when you're sort of analyzing the position, it seems like it's, it's the bigger the screen, 
the the easier it is to analyze the position at least for me all right so uh right over here this is a 32 inch benq monitor that i specifically was looking for something that has eye care technology it's got this low flicker um, all kinds of different things that benqs don't really sell in places like best buy and most of the time you don't hear of the company benq because they mostly make their monitors for people that work uh at a place that they have to like watch the screen for a long period of time and this is specifically designed to be for like for your eyes so i do play uh, some of my chess games on a screen that's this big as you can see compared to my macbook pro the 32 inch gives a substantially larger uh, board in fact if we take this board and compare it to the size for the chess up we can see that it's even bigger than the chess up board see it's 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 larger larger squares and i don't know if you guys can kind of tell the difference if whether or not just by looking at the screen here you may may kind of feel like like you you get a lot more square size here and it's a lot easier for you to really kind of be able to analyze the position i feel like than on a smaller screen uh, some people might disagree with me. Some people might say, you know, playing a chess game is playing a chess game. Screen size doesn't really matter a whole lot. So I primarily use this when I'm at home and I actually um, will play in a semi-dim room. A lot of times I'll play in the evening. So I actually put it to this, which to you guys it might seem like a little too dark, but in a dark room, that's the setting that I have it on. So that way you don't like, I, I don't like to see screens that are way too bright. Like that over there on the, on, the, on the MacBook is a little too bright for me. But um, let me show you the other screens, that, um, the phones and everything. And then we'll talk a little bit about the Samsung Z Fold 5. For size comparisons, this is what we kind of have, okay? So this was the original screen on which I've played a lot of my games right over here. This is the iPhone 6S. And then when I upgraded to the Samsung Galaxy S10, you can see size difference. There's definitely a wider screen here than, than this. The only problem that I didn't like with the Samsung Galaxy S and for any Android users out there, on the very sides, they kind of have it to where the screen sort of bends inward. Uh, right over here, it's got this sort of bevel. And when you're playing chess games, a lot of times they, depending on where you play, chess.com or Lee Chess, they set the board right up to the very corners and then it's not that it's difficult for you to to push these here but um right at the very edge when i got this phone initially i, I kind of just didn't like that that the board sort of bend it inwards like this if you see by comparison the iphone the iphone xs has a flat screen and so at the very edges it's still it's still flat whereas this kind of bends inward i didn't like that at first but then i kind of got used to it so it's not really that big of a deal but it could be to where some people might prefer a screen that doesn't sort of bend inwards it doesn't curve inwards especially when they're playing chess games but either way here's the iphone xs and next to the Samsung Galaxy S10, you can see the screen size is about the same, plus minus, this might be a little bit longer. But it's the width really that matters for these chess boards and stuff because the chess board can only be as big as the width of your phone. That is part of the reason why I decided that it might be time to consider upgrading, which I did just recently to the Samsung um, Z Fold 5 that you see right over here. Now, if we put if we, you can play it on the on the small screen that's in the front. So if we, for example, start a game. You still get a screen and you're able to play on this screen here, but it is a little bit smaller. Once again, it's because of the width of the screen here, okay? And this would probably not be the way that you would wanna play the chess game. If you're getting this phone, you're probably gonna go ahead and play it this way because this way is gonna be a lot bigger as you guys can see right over here. Substantially bigger with uh, than this board or this board. And uh, for anybody that's wanting to get, you know, higher, 
higher brightness. You can get it as bright really as you want, but once again, like I said, because of the when you unfold it, it's got this sort of a square size here. The board is significantly bigger uh, than any of the other phones that you can pretty much achieve this with. I'm not really going to be playing, but I just wanted to show you the dimensions. It's simply because the phone is so much wider that we can have a board this big. Now, some people might say, well, and this is one of the things that I, I kind of had my reservations about, um, is there is sort of this little bit of, um, there's sort of this little tiny kind of depression. It's almost, you can't really perceive it as much when you look at the screen, but it is there. That's part of the folding mechanism. And I kind of thought for a second that like, okay, so you have this fold, how does, how does it work as far as, you know, is there the same touch sensitivity on this particular, like, um, on, on this part when it comes to playing chess? Cause you don't, you want every part of the screen to be the same sensitivity with regards to touch. You don't want it to be where you're moving a piece across and all of a sudden you lose that sensitivity when you're, you know, when you're, playing your game or something that would be very frustrating and when I asked the person at Best Buy he didn't really know he said it seems to be fine and you know not really a problem however as you can see here playing on on this board really and, and I've played on it uh, definitely quite a few games already and I feel like overall the experience when it comes to playing games is very nice swift I don't see any issues or problems with regards to how the the chess pieces perform, how the screen performs, and how uh, overall how fast things are. Um, so you can tell there's no real issues with regards to the center of the screen. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, so it's it's a nice nice screen overall. Now there are other screens. For example, this is the iPad Mini. And the iPad mini here right next to this. Sorry that it's not really as bright as the other one. Uh, but the iPad mini provides us with a space that's reasonably similar to what you can achieve with. But then again, if you're wanting to have an iPad mini, certainly you can play with the iPad mini when you're at home, when you have Wi-Fi in places that, you know, you might be able to carry this easily. But we have to say that the best the best device for playing chess is the one that you have with you, you know, as, as with anything else, the best camera is the one that you have with you. Uh, so if, if you intend on carrying an iPad, that certainly would be, you know, allow you to play games like this on a bigger screen as opposed to your phone. But there are times when you're not carrying your iPad or you might not have an iPad or, you know, you might be in a situation where you, all you have is your phone. And that may be to where a phone like this gives a substantially larger room to play, almost actually a little bit bigger than the iPad the iPad mini. We can reverse it and have it like this and then it gets a little bit smaller, but um, yeah. So now another thing I wanted to say is this this is running Lee Chess right now and Lee Chess pushes the, their, their board right up to the very edges, which is what I really, really like on this. If we go to chess.com and we play puzzles or, or even play a regular game, it um, it somehow pushes the screen inwards and even when you play a game against other people, it will um, it'll still kind of keep the board about this much, which which is the reason why I actually enjoy playing on Lee Chess on this phone, just because you get substantially bigger board than chess.com, as you can see right over here. But still, with chess.com, if we compare chess.com here, it will it'll push this the screen out so right over here it pushes the screen out to the very edges but the screen is still smaller than the screen here but like i said for for those reasons i actually enjoy playing on lee chess because it, it is a little bit bigger i wish that chess.com would just push their board all the way out but i have not seen in any settings or anything you know, if if they could do that. So we're kind of left with a board that's this big, but it's still, like I said, it's still much better than, than playing on something that this big because the smaller the screen for me, the harder it is to play. Now, I do have this this Kindle paper white here, lastly, to kind of show you. And why am I showing you this? Because this uses a separate, different type of a computer screen or so, you can say it's called e-ink. 
This has a much, much different way of you, you're rending a picture for you to where you can use this and stare at it for many, many hours as it's, it's basically designed because it's a reader and it's, uh, it's, it's much, much uh, better for your eyes overall and I wish that more screens would be like this. I wish that they would make phones like this. The problem is the technology is still pretty far behind. Um, and like the refresh rate is not as fast. There are still screens like this you could play chess games on, but I don't think the experience is the same. Uh, but this, if I had to play a lot of chess games in the future, I'd probably, you know, maybe consider choosing some kind of an e-ink screen to where it would be a little bit easier for the eyes. Maybe once they get the refresh rate a little bit better and there are, this is this Kindle, I don't think supports chess.com, but there are other e-ink devices that um, will allow you to play chess. I just have not really uh, tested those out just because the refresh rate is, is a little bit slow on those. Now, if you're considering um, purchasing the Samsung Z Fold 5 that we see right over here. I know there are, there's Samsung Z Fold 4, which is very similar to the Z Fold 5. I don't really know how it behaves with regards to the sensitivity right here in the middle. Like I found this screen to be sensitive exactly the same everywhere pretty much. And I, like I said, I was very pleased with how, how the screen works overall and once you fold your screen, you can still continue playing your game. However, it is a much smaller screen, but if you're in a situation where you don't necessarily want to open the screen up to the full size, you can always play it like this. So it kind of gives you two options. Now, I am going to be looking for a good case for this. One of the things that I kind of noticed immediately is just because of the width of this, it's a little bit tricky to hold, um, especially without any type of a protective cover. And when you're holding it, you have to hold it all the way across and it is a lot wider than most other phones because we're used to holding our phones kind of in this fashion. This is a iPhone XS. There's XS Plus and all the extra large phones. They might be a little bit bigger, but they're not this, this wide. This is really wide and I really have to sort of stretch my hand quite far to grasp the phone. And after playing several games, I've noticed that just holding it really far out like this, it sort of causes my, my, my fingers and my, my, my wrist to cramp up a little bit. So there are some cases where on the back side here, um, when you have the case on, it has like a little strap thing here to where you can just basically put your hand through like that and uh, be able to hold your, your, your phone without having to hold both of the edges of the phone. But, um, yeah, the reason why I wanted to make this video in the first place is just because when I was considering buying this phone, I wanted to see videos on YouTube with people specifically showing me what chess games will be like on chess.com and Lee Chess on this phone because really that's the only reason that I wanted to get this phone um, is I didn't really care to get this phone for videos or anything. It was strictly for chess because like I said, there are still times when I play chess in fact there's not many icons on my phone, just like I didn't really have many icons before. Um, but chess is an important part of my life and when I, when I like to sit down or if I'm waiting for somebody, I do enjoy either solving chess puzzles or playing chess. And like I said, this, this phone might be the phone that some of you guys might be looking for. Um, I'm not getting paid for making this video, but I just wanted to kind of share it to make this video help. So that's pretty much uh, all I want to show you guys today. Hopefully this video was helpful. Like I said, the screen size on this phone is big enough for me to say that for a handheld device, it's reasonably large enough for you to actually have a good game online in really any situation. So I know this phone it retails for, I think close to $2,000. So it is a little bit expensive. I bought mine on eBay. Uh, so it was a little bit cheaper, but um, if, if you're considering getting this phone, like I said, um, hopefully this video has shed a little bit of light, especially if you're considering getting this phone specifically for playing chess. I say as far as playing chess definitely makes a difference. Like my Samsung phone, the previous one that I had, 
I'm gonna be honest with you, I've, I've really never played games on it on chess games just because the screen was so small. From time to time I play a game, but every time I would play, I would just realize just how small the screen is and in some complex positions when I'm playing, it's just, it's too, too cramped. The pieces are just way too cramped. Now, my fingers are not super big, but I know for some people with slightly bigger fingers, then uh, a smaller screen like that is just really tough for you to be able to push the pieces or exactly where you need them and a lot of times those type of mistakes can cost you the game but having a little bit of a bigger screen like this it really does make all of a difference so be sure to hit that like below if you found this video interesting and if you just come over to watch my videos regularly don't forget to hit that like it really does help if you have not hit a like yet then hit a like for this next product that we'll be reviewing in my next video it's going to be the square off neo so um, yeah, leave a like and also leave a comment below if you have any comments about this particular video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.